up, my Square Bears? This is Kenji Nikki L7 Society signing in. First manga review ever on this channel. And it's a doozy because it's One Piece. And One Piece is, is fucking king when it comes to showing the manga. You know. Everybody loves One Piece. But, anyway. One Piece chapter 743. Big fucking moves just fucking happened. So, the last chapter, 742, it ended off with Usopp taking out Sugar. And that's the big trigger that that sets off the whole thing that's happening in the chapter right now. Um, I didn't like how Usopp took out sugar I was one of those people who said who were pretty much pissed off about the whole Usopp being a coward and shit running away I knew he was going to come back but just the simple thing the simple fact that he that he did that that he did what he did that pissed me off cause you know that's a whole that's a whole other thing but anyway he took out sugar so that's that's the good thing everybody's being turned back from toys to humans uh, government officials, even royalty kings and royalty from other countries, uh, every, all the gladiators in the tournament, Cavendish, the Conehead guy, um, animals, which I don't know why they had, they changed the animals to toys, whatever the case, whatever. Um, and it cuts to uh, fucking Usopp. Robin, Robin's back to normal, obviously. And she runs over to Usopp saying, oh, you did such a good job. Uh, the Tantadas are like, Usopp land, we knew you could do it, blah, blah, blah. And Usopp's like, Ugh. I told you I could do it. Which, you know, is bullshit. <laughs> that's, a whole other, that's a whole other story. Uh, yeah, Usopp saying, uh, I, I told you I could do it. Um, uh, now my crew, now just let my crewmates take care of everything else, which is pretty much fucking true. And, um, then the word gets out to Dolph Amigo. Dolph Amigo's like, you gotta be joking. Like, cow fucking sugar get taken out. So, like, as everybody wants a piece of Dolph Amigo, because ten fucking years Dolph Amigo had control of Desrosa. So everybody that everybody wants a piece of him. Everybody's run, running around in the streets yelling, "Dolphamingo, I'm gonna get you!" Uh, Dolphamingo's pure evil. Don't don't be blinded by his yada 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 bullshit yada 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 yada. And every, and also since everybody's back to normal, everybody start remember every, everybody start from Desrosa start remember the people who are toys. Now I'm guessing in other places too, people are start remember like oh. I knew him all along and all that bullshit. And it's total chaos because the animals and his fucking pirates all over this Rosa causing fucking havoc. And then, uh, yeah, Fujitora just sitting there waiting. Uh, waiting. I don't know what he's waiting for. Uh, waiting to make a move or whatever. And, um, the Frankie obviously still laid the fuck out, which they did Frankie wrong, dude. God, they did Frankie so wrong <laughs> in this, in this in Death Rosa. They did him so wrong. Like, they jumped him, whooped his ass, and he just laid the fuck out. But he's smiling because Uso got the job done. And because uh, Zoro, fucking Pika, I don't know what the hell where Pika went. I was I'm waiting for this fight. Zoro and Pika, I'm waiting for it because I'm waiting to see if Pika can bring out, can make Zoro go all out. Because I'm waiting to see it because. Personally, I think Zoro is stronger than Luffy. I'm just saying, if he if not, he's on the same level as Luffy. Cause I don't know, dude. Anyway, that's a whole other that's a whole other thing. So in that's Rosa, everybody's causing havoc. Uh, Doflamingo and his crew, they're all perplexed and shit. Don't know what the fuck is going on. The Marines are trying to take care of all the chaos in there. Like I said, Fujitora is just sitting there chilling out. Like, I don't know what he's plotting or whatever. 
And uh, they cut to where Luffy, Viola, and Toy Soldier are. But it's not Toy Soldier, it's fucking Kiros, aka Toy Soldier, aka Kiros. And uh, Luffy's like, What happened to Toy Soldier? And then Viola looks over the hedge, and all you see is she, she starts crying because she's like, Oh my god, it's Kiros, only son. And uh, Luffy's like, Who? And all you see is Kiros is hobbing along on one fucking leg, yo. I thought in the last chapter or before, or it was the chapter before, whatever, where they showed where Kiros cut his leg, I thought he cut like under his kneecap. He cut him like high up, up above his leg, his, his upper leg, like near his groin. And he's just like going hardcore on one fucking leg. And he looks like, who's that guy? And she's like, that's Kiros. Uh, the lead the captain of the uh, king's army and the uh, champion glad the gladiator champion in desrosa and it's like oh Luffy's like oh that's the, the statue dude and he's just like hobbing along like hardcore because he got over to doflamingo and his his area really really fucking quick and yeah you see the uh, king riku he was uh crying because like oh i remember him because, you know, they're humans now. So everybody, remember everybody. He's like, oh, are you Kiros? And he's like, yes. And then it cuts to him. Kiros jumping straight in the air. Slice. Clean cut. Cutting off Dolphin Mingo's head. It was fucking dope. It was fucking dope. But the thing is, like, Dolphin Mingo's head came off and it started rolling on the ground. And, uh... He's not dead. Dolphin Mingo's not dead. Of course he's not dead. Why would he be dead? If Kiros just ended the whole thing right, just right then and there, that would make Luffy look so fucking bad. <laughs> so bad. It would make Luffy look so bad if that were to happen. And so after he cut his head off, he's like, I'm getting a real Death Rosa back. He got over hella quick. Like, you don't understand how quick he got over there. Just by one leg. Because Baby Five and Buffalo didn't even see it coming. Dolphin Mingo saw the corner of his eye. But as soon as he looked over, it was too fucking late. And his shit was just rolling on the ground. But he's he's not dead, obviously. Um, then it cuts to the fucking... Uh, cuts to Coliseum. Where is Bartholomew, Rebecca, Diamante, Jesus Burgess, Sabo. Sabo! Okay. No, I'm calling Sabo. Fuck that. I ain't calling Lucy. Fuck that. Sabo. Sabo. Sabo, um, Rebecca, she's crying, but she's, uh, you know, she's crying because last chapter, Diamante was just verbally abusing the shit out of her. Just verbally abusing the shit out of her. I killed your mother. Blah, blah, blah. You ain't shit. Puh. Spit on your whole bloodline and all that stuff. And, um, and then she started remembering Kiro. She's like, oh, I had a father. But, of course, gosh, she wasn't even that old when her mom died. Like, all she remembers, I, I don't think she she barely remembers fucking Kiro's, really. But, obviously, she remembers she had a father. Um, and fucking Sabo, doing a side mission, doing a side mission. It's like, yo, there's something under the uh, Coliseum. There's some another job that I gotta do. And he used Armin's hockey and put it on the platform of the Coliseum. Uh, I think the the move is called Dragon Breath. I think it is. Yeah, Dragon. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's called Dragon Breath. And he just blew up the whole fucking Coliseum. Blew that shit up. Fucking Jesus Burgess is like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, Bartholomew is like, what are you doing? And everybody in the Coliseum is like going bananas because also there's, to there's toys in the Coliseum, so everybody's just going crazy. Diamante is like, what the fuck is happening out here? And all it, the funny thing is, Sabo was like, I got other business, but I'm still gonna win because he still wants Ace's fruit. And once he gets Ace's fruit, it's gonna be so fucking dope. Cause it's not gonna give it to Rebecca. Come on, son. Really? 
Oh, why would they give it to Rebecca? They give it to Re if they give Ace's fruit to Rebecca. I'm gonna be kind of mad about that. It's Sabo, Sabo deserves it. And it also has a uh, koala. She's there. Like the revolutionary army is about to go in like crazy. Like it's so much shit happening. And that's Russell right now. We haven't even got to where Sanji, Nami, Brooke, and Chopper, and the kid are. And they also fucking Kimimo. They're like, there's so much shit happening on this Russell. Honestly, I think, uh, I think that Nami still has, uh, what was her fucking name? Lola. Oh, on Thor Barp. Uh, Big Mom's daughter or whatever. She still has the, the, the card thing, right? So I'm guessing that if if uh, Nami or even if Lola's on the ship, that one of the shit that uh, Big Moms, that and in her like if Nami says, "Yo, I know Lola, yada yada yada, we're good friends," blah blah blah, and it's gonna turn top, and it's just gonna bring Big Mom on Luffy's side, even though Luffy already challenged her to a fight and shit, but um. Yeah. So if Nami were is if Nami could get Big Mom on her, on her side, on her side, aka the rest of the Straw Hat side, they then they'll have Big Mom, or it was like Army, Luffy and his crew, Law and his, which I think Law's crew is is, is on this roster somewhere. And I think they're gonna show up soon. Um, the re. The whole fucking that's what's uh like old king's army, yeah. Dolph Amigo ain't getting out of there unscathed though. He is not getting there unscathed because he deserves it. Dolph Amigo is a bastard, yo. Sly fucking smiling bastard. And lately we have been to like the last like three or four chapters. He ain't been smiling so much. <laughs> Every time you see him, he has not been smiling. So, uh, yeah. So, first chapter, uh, not chapter, first manga review on this channel is the great and only One Piece, chapter 743. Um, read it over, read it over. Again, it's a good chapter. I give it, nah, I'm not rating it. Uh, I ain't doing that rating stuff right now. I gotta get a rating system, actually. So, that's another, that's a whole, it's a whole another can of worms. But, anyway. Uh, L7, Square Bears, my nouns, love ya. Kijaniki, signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.